Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about the coax and the connectors that are in your airplane and what it's going to cost to redo all your coax and your connectors for your navs, your comms, and everything else that's in your airplane. So stay tuned while we have some more fun with this topic. And so we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now, as I said, we're going to be restoring all the cables and the connectors in a complete airplane. And that's why you see me right there. That is 100 feet of RG400. Now, the new coaxes are higher density foam, lower loss for transmission. So your signal will get out further and you'll be able to receive further. I mean, I did my traveler coax and connectors back in 93 and couldn't believe how those old radios performed. So anyway, we're going to doing this for the Project Tiger as part of the panel upgrade, but we're going to be replacing all the coax in the aircraft. And when you figure the airplane is almost 25 feet long, well, then you look at doesn't take too many runs back to the nav whiskers, to the ELT, uh, to a comm antenna. So by the time you're all done hooking all this up, you're going to go through a lot of coax. You're also going to go through a bunch of connectors. And we also have a bunch of heat shrink tubing. Now let me talk about the heat shrink tubing real quickly. One of the heat shrinks that we use has an adhesive on the inside so that when you heat shrink it to the tubing it sticks to it and it prevents water from permeating so it always stays good and dry now let's talk about all these connectors you see here now here's the parts list of what we bought from aircraft spruce but we bought a lot of extra connectors because we'd rather have an extra one and not need it than be short one when we're trying to do the work so anyway between the heat shrink tubing the 100 feet of the RG400 coax, no much better than the black stuff you have in your aircraft now, and all the connectors, um, not counting shipping, you're looking at about $400 to redo an entire airplane. Now again, we did buy some extra connectors just to have them in the shop. You know, now to do this work, you're going to need a big lighter to shrink the tubing or a heat gun. You're going to need a cable stripper. You're going to need a wire stripper. You're going to need a cable squeezer to put the connectors on or you can solder them uh, your call but anyway ladies and gentlemen you're looking at about four hundred dollars for a whole airplane and that'll redo all your coax in your aircraft so you'll speak further and you'll listen better so ladies and gentlemen probably more you wanted to know about a cable redo than you thought about anyway thanks for watching and have a great day flying your grumman <music> So here are the cute kittens all being quiet on the sofa on this nice cold day. Thought you'd enjoy it. So take a look at these little beauties. They're 8 and 10 months old each.